स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रेजेंट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट इंटर सेकंड ईयर एम एंड सी ग्रुप्स तेलंगाना स्टेट 2020 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री अकाडमिक इयर कामर्स सब्जेक्ट पब्लिक एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पेपर पैटर्न इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम कामर्स पार्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थियरी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम अकोटेंसी पार्ट एंड इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम अकोटेंसी पार्ट लेट एस सी द फर्स्ट वन पब्लिक एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पेपर पैटर्न पेपर इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू पार्ट वन इज फॉर 50 मार्क्स पार्ट टू इज आल्सो फॉर 50 मार्क्स पार्ट वन कॉमर्स फॉर 50 मार्क्स इन सेक्शन ए थ्री क्वेश्चंस विल बी गिवन टू यू यू हैव टू अटेम्प्ट एनी टू ईच क्वेश्चन इज फॉर 10 मार्क्स टू इंटू टेन ट्वेंटी मार्क्स इन सेक्शन बी सिक्स क्वेश्चन विल बी गिवेन You have to attempt any four. Each one is for five marks. Four into five, twenty marks. In section C, eight questions will be given. You have to attempt any five. Each one is for two marks. Five into two, ten marks. Now come to part two. Fifty marks, accountancy. In section D, one problem will be given. You have to do that problem. Means there is no choice here. That problem is for twenty marks. One into twenty, twenty marks. And this problem comes from either chapter five, admission of a partner, or chapter six, retirement of a partner. Then the doubt is from which chapter we can expect twenty marks problem. Ninety four percent from admission of a partner question comes. Rarely from retirement of a partner he may ask. Next section E. Two questions will be given. Any one you have to attempt. So that question carries ten marks. One into ten, ten marks. In these two questions, first one is a problem from chapter two, consignment accounts. Second question is also a problem from chapter three, accounting for not for profit organizations. And on income and expenditure account topic, you will get a problem for ten marks. Next section F. Four questions will be given. You have to write any two. Each one carries five marks. Two into five, ten marks. Out of these four questions, one question is a problem from chapter one, that is depreciation. Second question may be a problem or theory question. If he gives a problem, there is a chance from chapter three, accounting for not for profit organizations. So on receipts and payments account topic, he may give one five marks question, or he may give a theory question. Remaining two are theory questions. Section G, eight questions will be given. You have to write any five. Each one is for two marks. Five into two, ten marks. And out of this eight, one question will be a problem from admission of a partner chapter chapter five. and topic is calculation of new profit and loss ratio remaining seven questions are theory questions with this first topic question paper pattern is completed now come to second topic important questions from commerce part first 10 marks first question is what are the differences between money market and capital market In brackets, I have mentioned the year in which this question came in public examination. Second one, what are the different types of mutual funds? Explain. In brackets, there is no year. No, don't think that this is not important. This question is as per new syllabus and a full portion, hundred percent. Third question, what is stock exchange? Explain its functions. Four, what is SEBI? What are its functions and powers? Fifth. What is listing? What is the procedure of listing securities? Sixth, discuss the need for services of stock broker in the financial market. This question is also as per new syllabus full portion. Seventh, define banking and explain the functions of the banking. Same questions may be asked in another manner also. Define banking and explain its primary functions. Otherwise, discuss the secondary functions of banks. Eighth question: What do you understand by e-banking? Explain the various types of e-banking. For two marks also, you can expect one point from this question. 
what do you mean by e-banking explain its advantages and disadvantages this is ninth question 10th what are the principles of management next same question may be asked in another manner also what is the contribution of henry fayol in the field of management so 10 mass questions completed now come to five mass questions from commerce part first one what are the differences between primary market and secondary market second one what is derivative explain the various products of derivatives third what do you mean by bulls and bears four who is a stock broker explain the role played by him in the financial market fifth explain various types of deposit accounts in a bank sixth what are the various types of retail loans explain seven state the features of insurance eight what are the principles of insurance nine what is irda explain the powers and functions of irda tenth define entrepreneur and explain the characteristics eleventh what are the functions of entrepreneur 12 explain the danhof classification of entrepreneurs 13 explain the special support extended by the government of telangana to the sc st entrepreneurs in our state 14 explain the special provisions enacted by telangana state for the msmes 15 what are the steps initiated by Telangana government for improving the productivity and income of traditional arts and handicrafts of our region? 16. Define startup and explain its prerequisites. 17. List out the advantages of SEZs. 18. List out the objectives of SEZ. 19. How do internal trade and international trade differ? 20. Discuss the benefits of international trade. 21. Explain the principles of directing. 22. Define organizing and explain the steps in organizing. 23. What are the features of planning? 24. What are the types of planning? With this, commerce 5 marks important questions are completed. Now come to commerce 2 marks important questions. First one, money market means you have to write the meaning of money market. Second, call rate. Same questions may be asked in another manner also. Call money. Third, explain commercial bill. Fourth, treasury bill. So you have to write about treasury bill. Fifth, mutual fund. Sixth, what is bond market? Seven, what is debt market? Eighth, what is equity market? Ninth, what is forex market all these questions are as per new syllabus full portion that is why year is not mentioned 10th structured product 11 lame duck 12 stag 13 jobber 14 broker 15 cash credit 16 credit card 17 rtgs 18 ecs 19 NEFT 20 mobile banking 21 endowment policy 22 surrender value 23 time policy 24 what is enterprise 25 entrepreneurship 26 adaptive or imitative entrepreneur 27 drone entrepreneur 28 innovation 29. Balanced Regional Development 30. What is Project Report? 31. What is Bridge Loan? 32. What is mean by Internal Trade? 33. Write about Hawkers and Peddlers 34. Write about Cheap Jocks 35. Street Stalls 36. What is Multiple Shop? 37. What is Letter of Credit? 38. What is Bill of Lading? 39. Certificate of Origin 40. What is Exchange Rate? 41. Bonded Warehouses 42. Scientific Management 43. What is Planning? 
44 define staffing 45 meaning of control with this second topic that is important questions from commerce part is completed now come to third topic important theory questions from accountancy part from accountancy part problems and theory questions come now so let us see the theory questions first five marks first question is explain the differences between consignment and sales second what is donation explain the types of donations third write the differences between receipts and payments account and income and expenditure account fourth what are the characteristics of receipts and payments account fifth what is income and expenditure account explain its features sixth write any five features of the computerized accounting seven explain any five advantages of the computerized accounting eight distinguish between computerized accounting and manual accounting with this five marks important questions from accountancy part completed now come to two marks important theory questions from accountancy part first question define depreciation second what is depletion third what is obsolescence fourth what are the two causes of depreciation fifth fixed installment method same question may be asked in another manner also straight line method or original cost method sixth diminishing balance method same question may be asked in another manner also return down value method seven what is pro forma invoice eight what is del credit commission nine define donations 10 what is meant by specific donations 11 define legacy 12 entrance fees 13 what is partnership deed 14 what is revaluation account 15 define goodwill 16 sacrificing ratio 17 gaining ratio 18 joint life policy 19 what is marg erp 9 20 what is tally erp 9 21 write a short note on supremacy 22 scalability with this two marks important theory questions from accountancy part is also completed third topic important theory questions from accountancy part is completed now come to fourth topic last topic that is important problems from accountancy part Chapter 1 Depreciation Second problem In Telangana State Telugu Academy Test Book In page number 2 you can see this second question Next problem number 8, 9 Page numbers 40, 41 Next problem numbers 11 and 12 Page number 43 Problem number 15 Page number 44 not only problems, illustration problems also you have to learn. Illustration 5, page number 16. Illustration 9, page number 26. Illustration 11, page number 29. So, depreciation is completed. Now, come to second chapter, consignment accounts. From this, problems 1 to 16 you have to learn. Page numbers 80 to 83. Illustrations also you have to prepare. Illustration 1 and 2. Page numbers 57 to 60. Illustration 5. Page number 64. Illustration 9 and 10. Page number 73 to 75. So, second chapter consignment accounts is completed. Now, come to third chapter. Accounting for not-for-profit organizations. From this chapter, he may give two problems now. One problem is compulsory. For 10 marks, compulsory gives a problem on income and expenditure account. And another one is 5 marks. He may give a problem on receipts and payments account. Income and expenditure account related problems are 4 to 10. Page numbers 126 to 130. Not only these problems, illustrations also you have to learn. Illustration 4, page number 106. Illustration 6, 7, 8, page numbers 111 to 114. With this, accounting for not-for-profit organizations, 10 marks problems are completed. Now come to 5 marks problem from the same chapter. 
5 marks problem is about receipts and payments account now. Problems are 1, 2, 3, test book page number 124, 125. Illustration also you have to learn. Illustration 1, page number 99. Illustration 3, page number 102. Next come to chapter 5, admission of a partner. 20 marks problems. First problem to 11th problem you have to learn. Page numbers 238 to 247. Next, 15th problem, page number 250. Illustrations also you have to learn. Illustrations 20 to 25, page numbers 198 to 218. Now come to admission of a partner, chapter 5, 2 marks problems. Problems 7 to 10 you have to learn, page number 236. For 20 marks, rarely he may ask one question from retirement and death of a partner, no? So, from this chapter, you have to learn problem numbers 1, 2, page numbers 299, 300, problems 5 to 14, page numbers 302 to 308, illustration 11, page number 281. Four topics are completed. I made two videos which are helpful to you. First one, how to score highest marks in inter-commerce exam. Second one, Inter-Second Year Commerce, Telangana State 2022-23, Previous Year's Public Exam Accounts Problems. So, these two videos links are available in the description box. So, this is the end of present video. Thank you.